The Environmental Right and Action Friends of Earth and Niger and other civil society organizations have disagreed with ongoing divestment by international oil companies in the Niger Delta. The groups who expressed their displeasure at an interactive session with media on the motive behind the IOC's divestment and the region organized by the era in Port Harcourt River State lamented the health impact of activities of IOCs on the people of the region. Take a listen. Stakeholders in the Niger Delta region said the divestment move by all multinationals is contrary to the energy transition advocacy plan to renewable energy sources. They described it as a ploy to reject their developmental obligations and responsible for polluting the air. The groups expressed worries that about 70 years after oil extraction in the region and its adverse effects, there are emerging indications of more problems in the Niger Delta. In his address, the executive director of ERA, Chima Williams, said the level of environmental pollution suffered by the people of the Niger Delta region in the ends of multinational oil companies is incomparable globally. What is needed is just for governments to set the guidelines, set the regulatory mechanisms, set the standards, okay? And we have been asking for, if you are divesting, one thing that you should do, put back the environment and the people in the position they were before you started operation. If you are not going to do that, you want to divest, put a divestment bond. Nigerian government should set amount that will be enough to do legacy cleanup. Also speaking at Don at the University of Porto Court, Professor Sofiri Peterside explained the major reasons behind the divestment by the IOCs. He said that there is a need for a better understanding and community engagement on the global environmental justice and community definitions of divestment in relation to the model of the IOCs in the Niger Delta. There are 113 oil mining licenses in Nigeria, split evenly between onshore and offshore. Out of 26 sold in the last 21 years, more than three quarter, which is 77%, were located onshore. This trend will have negative impact on investment and production in the oil and gas sector, and by extension, revenue accruable to the Nigerian state and spending in the oil-bearing communities. We owe ourselves the responsibility <coughs> of ensuring that we target programming and interventions to address exclusion, even when the system or the processes exclude us from participating. If you work in the communities, you will agree with me that when you go to communities for intervention, they begin to look at you suspiciously. So we need to build trust by opening up the space for participation. It's a question of responsibility. How do we start to take responsibility, you know, to be proactive, to do what we must do in order to cause a change? 80% of ministers of petroleum are from the Niger Delta. They will not even acknowledge the petition from their own community because they are in cahoots, because they are more focused on transactions. The stakeholders opine that there is the need for the IOCs to decommission their toxic assets and carry out remedial actions to be monitored by independent bodies and civil society organizations in the community. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.